and it gets more and more blue, like a really rich blue. And so what we're aiming for with meditation is we dip into that stillness, then we're back into our life, which may be frantic at times. We go, we do that on a regular basis. It's like we're really getting more and more steeped into calmness. So that's really what we're aiming for. And that's why it's so beneficial if you do this on a regular basis. You know, ideally it's more than just once every two weeks with us, but hey, if that's all you have time for and all you can do, then awesome, do this. But ideally, even if you have a minute every day or maybe a few times a day, one minute, you know, that's already beneficial. And if you look at like the science, you know, like people always want to know like, well, what's the least amount that I need to meditate? <laughs> you know, that's like a real, like a real, um, western concept like how little can i meditate and become enlightened uh, but typically the research will say like around 12 minutes you know 12 twice a day but if you look at what's most typically being done it's 20 minutes twice a day and i, I you know but i feel like for some people that's just too much from the get-go so you just start small and then work your way up but what i found is that the first few minutes we're working on kind of letting go of everything that's been happening and when we stay in it a little longer then we get to the, the juicier and the more peaceful part so you know try that for yourself you know like do one minute here and there and just notice what it does for you and then now and then take longer meditations or if you're already beyond the one minute stage just do longer meditations and and uh, maybe take 20 minutes every morning before you get up or before you get go to work for me, ideally, I would say that when I wake up, you know, it's RPM, rise, pee, meditate. That's really the most effective. I've tried every other variation, but as soon as I get out of my bedroom and like, let me first feed the cats and let me actually make some tea before you know, it's like, actually, I have no time for meditation, you know? So I really have, I've tried figuring out the best way for years, but I'd say, if I can just stay in my bedroom and sit in a chair right there, that I'm, the chances are the greatest that I'm actually getting my meditation done before everything else um, starts taking my attention. Do you know, um, you can always send me questions about meditation. If you're like, hey, can you spend a session on whatever, something you find interesting, some research or some techniques, I'm thrilled to do it. Or if you have particular questions that you want me to address. But there were no questions this time. so. I'm thinking we're going to do a little experiment together. And this is a, a breathing experiment. What we're going to do is I'm going to introduce three different breathing techniques. And you're the scientist of one because you're the scientist and you're the, the, the subject that you're going to study as well. And so we're going to do three different breathing techniques. And after each one, I'm going to invite you to just sit, be quiet, tune in with yourself and just notice what that particular technique did for you, you know? Cause often you can read like, oh, this is the best and that's the best and you know, everybody has opinions, but you can just do like a test for yourself, like check it out, see what it's like to do a particular strategy. The first one, you can either do it in standing or in sitting. If you've been sitting all day long, I'd recommend just stand up. Doesn't matter if my, the camera shows just your, your, your stomach, <laughs> you'll probably see mine too. Um, and we're going to do a breathing exercise where you're going to tensile your muscles as you breathe in and then relax them all as you're breathing out. So find your position that you want to be in. Actually, I'll move my camera so you can actually see me. Oh, that's a good camera. It actually stays. Yay. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to breathe in. And as I breathe in, I'm going to tense my whole body, like my legs, my toes, my legs, my butt, my stomach my arms, my neck, even my face. I'm going to look really funny. And then as I breathe out, I let it all go. We're going to do five of those. So get ready. So here we go. Take a breath in and tense everything from the feet, the legs, the butt, the stomach, arms, chest, neck, face. Hold it and then breathe out and let go. If your microphone is on, just turn your microphone off um, just so we don't listen to everybody's breathing and let's do it again so breathing in tighten every muscle work your way up make a face tensile your muscles in your face as well on your out breath let it go and then do that again number three tighten everything as you breathe in 
and letting go if my rhythm doesn't work for you find your own we have two more to go breathing in tense your feet your legs your butt your stomach arms chest neck face let go one more so again same thing ideally you're breathing in through your nose and you can breathe out through your mouth <sighs> If you were standing, you might sit down again. And then closing your eyes and simply notice how you're feeling right now. Feeling your feet on the ground, feeling your buttocks on your chair. And just notice you might feel energized from all the tensing and then the letting go. Or you might feel a little more relaxed. So this is a time where you're just mindfully aware. So you're not changing anything. You're simply noticing, just observing. How do you feel right now? How's your body? How's your breath? And what is your state of mind? And just allow yourself to keep your awareness within. Just scanning how you're feeling. And if you do find obvious tension, it's just easy to let go. Of course, just let it go. Noticing your breath moving in and out of your body effortlessly. And if your mind starts getting carried away with thoughts, simply bring it back to your experience of scanning your body, your breath, and your state of mind. It's completely normal when thoughts pop up. The practice of meditation is about not following the thoughts. Just simply let them pass through. But don't try and stop your thinking because that doesn't work. You can't stop your mind from thinking. If you have your eyes closed, feel free to keep them closed as I'm explaining the next practice. The next practice is called box breathing, B-O-X. And the reason it's called box breathing is because you can visualize a box, like four lines in the shape of a box. What we're going to do is breathing in for about five seconds. So that would be the line up, then the breathe, then holding the breath for five seconds. So that's one of the horizontal lines. Then breathing out for five seconds and then holding the out breath for five. So it's an in-breath, then a holding, then an outing, all for five seconds each. Now, if five seconds is not your thing, if that doesn't work, then feel free to just do your own, your own count. Maybe it's four seconds, maybe it's six. At no time do you want to feel stress while you're doing this breathing exercise. And you don't have to breathe in very deeply either. It's just a nice, gentle, calm breath. So let's play with that for a few minutes. So sitting in a comfortable position, allowing the breath to move in for about five seconds. I'm going to count for you and then you can adjust it after the first two breaths. So we're gonna breathe in for one, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five, breathe out, two, three, four, 
five, and hold. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and hold. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five, and hold. Two, three, four. Continue using your own pace, your own count in your mind. And ideally, the in breath and the out breath are through your nose. Just allowing yourself to really comfortably letting the air move into your nose, into your, and then easily holding without tension and then breathing out all without tension and then waiting until you take your next in breath. And doing all that while just staying calm, adjusting the pace if needed. Really focusing on this breathing. Belly soft, so the breath can be received in a soft belly. And if you lose track, if you get sidetracked, just simply resume as soon as you figure that out, as soon as you catch yourself. And we'll do this for one more minute. And then finish your last box breath. And then simply allow your breath to resume its natural pace. And scan back in. How's your body? And how is your breath? And what's your state of mind now? The breath is such a cool mechanism to really reconnect with ourselves and in some way to manipulate our nervous system to create a more peaceful state of our nervous system. If we are in a state of fight and flight, we can use our breath to move our nervous system to more of a state of rest and relaxation or rest and digest as it's called because it's easier on your digestive system. We digest our food better when we're relaxed. And then our last breathing technique is going to be alternating nostril breathing or Nadi Shodhana is what it's called in yoga, yoga terminology. And for that one, unless you're already used to it and you know exactly how to go about it, otherwise I'd say, open your eyes and I'll demonstrate it. Now, if you have a stuffy nose, I recommend, since we're all at home, it's so handy, right? Or at home or at your office, go clean your nose because <laughs> we're gonna be really breathing through the nose. 
And if you know this stuff, it doesn't work too well. And then once that's done, put your fingers in this position. I use my right hand, I'm right hand dominant. Could do the other way too, I'm assuming. So it's a two, fit, two fingers and then the thumb. The way it's going to work is you're going to start by breathing in through your left, through your, you're going to just take a breath in and then you close one nostril and breathe out through the other. And then you breathe in through that same nostril and then you change sides and then you breathe out and then in through the other nostril. So you start with an in breath, close one nostril, then it's out, in, switch, out, in, switch, out, in. So it's the whole time, that's, that's the technique. So I'm going to talk you through and then I'm going to let you be. <laughs> I'm not going to talk you through the whole time because at some point you get the rhythm, it's simple. Um, you could even at some point do it without the fingers and simply observe the airflow through the alternating nostrils. All right, so let's all start with a breath in. Use your thumb to close your nostril, breathing out. And then in. Change. Out. And in. Change, out, and in, change, out, and in, change, out, and in. Change out and in. Change, continue on your own. Keep going, keep your eyes closed now. You might lift the gaze. right exactly the right location but in that area and make sure you use your own pace of breathing so it's out and in change your finger position out and in change your finger position shoulders stay relaxed breath is calm and easy and light you don't need to breathe deep right now you're sitting still and don't press too hard with your fingers because then each time you let go of your finger, your nostrils kind of stuck. So you just press lightly and I would say kind of towards the end of the nostril, like on the side. Just play with that. And let's do that for just one more minute. I'm inviting you to continue with your focus the way it is, moving from one nostril to the other, but letting go of the hand position. 
So of course the air moves in through both nostrils and out as well, but focus on one out in and then the other out in. And then allow your breath to move as it wants. Sit back, if you weren't already, relax, and simply notice what changed since you started the practice and where you are now. How's your body? How's your breath? And what's your state of mind? Allow yourself to rest, keeping your awareness with your own experience. I'll keep track of the time so we'll be done on time. And then gradually begin to bring a little movement in your fingers and your toes. And then take one deeper breath in. And then breathing out, letting go. Then rub your hands together until they feel nice and warm. Once your hands feel nice and warm, place one hand over the center of your chest, over your heart center, the other hand right on top. And allow the warmth of your hands to penetrate your chest. This is like giving yourself a big hug. Since some of us are a little hug deprived at the moment, this is a way to deal with that. <laughs> Just give yourself a good hug. And perhaps make a commitment to be really kind to yourself. Not only the rest of this day, but the rest of your life, really. Kindness to yourself is important. And then take one more deep breath in. Hands to move down. Just let them rest on your lap. Allow your eyes to open. And maybe stretch a bit. Yawn a bit. Whatever you need to just feel ready again for your day. Thank you all so much for joining. I'm so glad you're all there. It's so fun to see your little faces, even if it's just your picture, your smiling picture. But some of you, thank you for keeping your camera on. It's really nice to know that I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> uh, I wish you an awesome day, awesome few weeks. And thank you so much, Paul, for um, organizing all this and making it happen. If you had a favorite, which you know breathing practice you like the most, let me know in the chat. It'd be fun to hear. Hi, Barb. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, and any other, if you have questions, you can always uh, either put it in a chat or if you feel like it's more private, I will never say, you know what, Paul asked this question. You know, if you want to just 
have a general question you want, want me to um, use as a topic for one of our meditations, just send me an email and I'll keep it anonymous. Unless you say, this is such a cool question. Please you know i'm the chat and see what's uh see what you what you answered no favorite breathing practices yet it was nice and cool this morning did but anybody outside this morning for us uh, in arizona <laughs> did you check it out bob the temperatures outside it was beautiful. It was amazing, right? Thank God. We're, we're cooling down. Yay. Even in the evenings after the sun goes down. Yeah. It's very nice. The other night, yeah. the stuff were out. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The pool is no longer usable. That's a bummer, but oh well. You like the standing practice, Joyce. Awesome. You were the one that I was looking like, who is this? Now I see it. Yes. Sorry, I, had to... I couldn't grab my mute. Don't worry about it. Said, don't worry about it. I was, I had Thank the little you. pictures. I had to put it on the, whatever it is, gallery view or something. Yeah. I don't know. Thank yeah. you very much. You're very welcome. So glad you all joined. All righty. I'll let you guys go. Thank you, Paul. Take good care. Keep meditating. <laughs>